totally desexualized though. It just makes children think about men's penises. John Dillermann, or in English, John Penisman. John Penisman is a Danish animated children's television series about a man and his very long penis. It premiered on January 3rd, 2021. So, very recent, hot topic. Here's the premise. John Dillermann is a middle-aged man who wears a red and white striped bathing costume. Nothing strange about that. He has a penis that can extend to a length of dozens of meters. John uses his prehensile penis, which stretches through his clothes, as a tool, such as to tame lions or to fly about like a helicopter. But it is also often acts independently of John, getting him into a lot of trouble. We can all relate. Development and broadcast. The series is aimed at four to eight year olds. Just so you see this, right? It's not like this series is for adults. John Penis Man is four to eight year olds and was developed by Danish public broadcaster DR in association with the Sex Education Association and Sex Sam Fund. I'm sure if we would look further into this, we would end up in some sort of occult organization yet again. It premiered in January 2021 on DR's children's channel, DR Ramas Young. The first season, consisting of 13 five-minute episodes, was made available on the internet on 2nd January 2021. Let's see about the reception. I am reading this for the first time, by the way. John Dillermand was popular in Denmark upon release with 250,000 children viewing the first episode in five days, and it went viral. The series has found fans among Danish TV personalities and children. According to a DR executive, children were making snowmen, drawings, dolls, and songs about John Dillerman. The series' unusual premise was criticized by some viewers as normalizing rape culture, or you think? As pandering to pedophiles, or oh, you think? Or as making light of the Me Too movement against sexual violence against women. You really made it about the Me Too movement? That's ridiculous. It's a children's show. This should be only about pedophiles. Nothing else. The DR executive says that the series was part of DR's ambition to make children's content that dares to tackle embarrassing, difficult, quirky, and funny topics. Sure, or to super sexualize, hyper sexualize kids. You don't think? No? That it was about being true to oneself and one's flaws, and that it acknowledged children's curiosity about the human bodies. So, an eight year old kid has to be thinking about the embarrassing parts of his penis. An eight-year-old kid. He said that the series was desexualized as it can possibly get. Sure, it's just about a middle-aged man with his humongous cock. It's absolutely desexualized. And that it was developed together with a child psychologist and other professionals who reviewed the scripts to ensure that children wouldn't misinterpret what they saw. No, how could you misinterpret that by a middle-aged man with a long dick? That's... No, there's no room for misinterpretation. That's totally normal. That's totally okay. It's not pedophilia at all. Right? Of course, it wouldn't be Bobby's perspective if we wouldn't have the trailer. Or the intro, rather. Turkish-looking fellow, I think. Good day. Dear John D. John. Okay, so you saw right here. That's this penis that gets stuck to a car. It's totally desexualized, though. It just makes children think about men's penises. But it's desexualized. Yeah. Wait a second. Let me just check this. So he's carrying rubbish. There are people around, and he's carrying everything with his penis. And this 
has to be this way. When I was a kid, there was this cartoon called Masupilami. I don't know if ever anybody watched it. It was this yellow animal and he had a long tail, right? And he could do a lot of things with it. Long tail. It was pretty cool. But it was an animal with a long tail. A Masupilami. This is a middle-aged man. Turkish looking man. With a humongous a long cock. Picking up rubbish. And he uses a helicopter. He jumps on it. And there are children, as you can see, very happy, waiting for Gilman's cock. I don't know about the spiral here. Anybody? No? Could be, of course, just, again, a crazy conspiracy of mine. Has nothing to do with reality. Of course not. It's completely normal. Everything is normal. Again, Trump is gone. And everything is normal. People can show their children long penis men. That is okay. That's totally alright. Again, those are pedophile grooming symbols. Those are used by pedophiles. And we find them throughout media. We find them on products. We find them on toys even. Very disgusting. And they use the spiral as well as a pedophile sign. Parents are warning over innocent looking symbols. This is to groom children. This is what they use to recognize each other as well as pedophiles. Those are pedophile symbols. And now, coincidentally, or coincidentally, completely coincidentally, with the same colors, red and white, that the penis is displayed in, or this character, John Dillerman, the spiral in the background as well. Interesting. By the way, the spiral, or rather this ice cream truck that you can see here, again, the heart itself is already a pedophile symbol as well. As far as I know, this one stands for pedophiles that are after young girls and this one after young boys. And it seems, if you ask me, that they combined it both into one symbol. And for people who don't know, I don't know how it is in the States, but in Europe, I've seen this symbol on ice cream. On ice cream, they use this exact symbol. I've seen it throughout many countries in Europe and even in Thailand. So there you have it. It's an ice cream van and they use this symbol. But again, it's just coincidence, blah, blah. Just crazy conspiracy theorists. Here, this Turkish looking guy with the red and the white colors, with a long dick, just having fun. It's all normal. Oh. Right. Oh. He gets annoyed because the bad, bad lion is attacking the children. So he takes his cock and wipes the lion away. Who is the lion? John Dillerman. Shoots him. The old grandma. And now he's back again. That is the intro. That is the intro to John Dillerman.